Hey there everyone, Hanya here. Welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair, and I'm gonna wait to Jabberwock Park. I found this. Feels dangerous beyond this point. I shouldn't go there right now. It's Monokuma Rock. Oh, um, hey there, big guy. We got the flying one, snake one. Hold on. Then you have the tiger wolf thing? No, that's the first island. Where's the uh, gorilla looking one? Anyway, off to Mountain to Jabberwock Park. For skinny people, you're awfully slow. Um. It seems you're just too fast for us, which is saying something considering how big he's got. Ah. Uh. Jeez, I never expected a fatso like him to move so fast. What? So, what's supposed to be here? What? Here? Really? Such ignorance. If you haven't noticed yet, then I was right to dismiss you all as idiots. I mean, look at this thing. What, what is that? 21 days left? What? An obviously out of place object placed in the center of a peaceful park. Looks like a clock, but something seems off. It's counting down. What's going on? Was this here when we came last time? No! No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. <laughs> I found it this morning when I was exploring the island one more time. It's unknown when it was actually placed here. It appears. Monokuma must have placed this object. What does this countdown even mean? Aww. I have no clue. <laughs> Once again, something has appeared that I don't understand. But it's got nothing to do with me because I refuse to believe this is happening. Hold on! Could it be? It better not be a bomb. Are you kidding me? B -b 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 bomb You are the new Yasuhiro, aren't you? Not possible. If they wanted to blow up this island, they would have done so by now. There's no need for a countdown. Um... Then, what are they counting down? Hmm... This, it's a mystery. Right? A mysterious mystery, isn't it? Hey, you're alive! Ah! Yeah! Um, Ma Manomi? What? Wh why are you here? Um... I heard everyone talking while I was patrolling, so I came over. Um... No, not um, that. Didn't Monokuma kill you? I see! Ah, so that's why you were all surprised. So that's why you were surprised. <laughs> you don't need to have- you don't have to worry about that. After all, I can never die. It appears you cannot escape. I see, you must be some be an undead abomination, risen by the foul depths of the netherworld by black magic. <laughs> <gasps> you don't want me to t make you my- do you want me to make you my thrall? Hey, hey! But nobody's a mechanical stuffed animal, right? Doesn't that mean she can't die in the first place? <laughs> now that you mention it, she only need like, a spare or something, right? <laughs> a spare? That's a mean thing to say. <laughs> However, what you have, you have arrived at the perfect time. There's something I wanted to ask you. Come on! What is the meaning behind this timer and this countdown? Answer me. <laughs> huh? Countdown? Ah! What, what? What is this? Uh, um, so I'm sorry. I don't know what this is. Hey. You really don't know? I'm sorry! I'm sorry. I don't really have a grasp of what Monokuma is up to. Huh? You don't know, even though you're Monokuma's little sister. That's wrong! I am not a brother's little sister. Did she accept the role or not? Which one is it? Alrighties! Anyway, let's... Let's all do our best. Let's kick that evil... Let's kick the evil Monokuma off this island. <laughs> if you don't know what the countdown is for, you're useless to us. Get lost. Um... Um, let's... Together? I said get lost. Oh, okay then. Yeah! Uh, I'm sorry. Um. 
Um, perhaps you're being a little too harsh? I'm starting to feel sorry for it. <laughs> Miss Sonia, may I call you Miss Sonia? No, I insist on calling you that. I won't be fooled! There's no need to feel sorry for that thing. She's obviously working with Monokuma. Hey, bastard! Who the fuck cares about us about that stuffed animal? More importantly, what the hell is that clock? Hmm. Looks ominous, doesn't it? And who put that who put that object here and how did they do it in just one night? Hmm, I can't imagine. Yeah, I can't imagine with an arm with a small platoon of giant robots at his beck and call. I have no idea how he could have uh, put that, such a thing in place, right? Mm, seriously? Hmm. Which means it doesn't make any sense. Also, it's deadly. <laughs> However, that's not all that's unimaginable. This island is full of mysteries that we can't begin to imagine. For example, how were... How were the 16 of us brought to this island? Hmm. I wasn't trying to think about that since it's been bugging me too, but he, he's right. That is a mystery. <laughs> There's more. Why is Jabberwock Island, which was known for being a popular resort destination, now an uninhabited island? There's no sign of tourists or even citizens on this island. Is, some, is something like that even possible? This, too, must be the will of causality. All civilizations are destined to collapse. Nothing begets existence, and existence begets nothing. <laughs> so it collapsed? You are right. Society is much like fruit. Once it matures, it is inevitable that it will not that it will eventually rot. As the economy grows, the private sector stagnates as elders and bureaucrats become more and more powerful. As time passes, this power becomes the status quo and crushes the seeds of any real possible reformation. That is such a sad trend. Hmm. I don't really understand all that, but I feel like the situation here is somewhat different. So... Maybe the Mono Beasts killed everyone on the island. What? And that's how it became uninhabited? It's certainly possible. That's a possibility, but we don't know that for sure. Hmm. This mystery remains a mystery, it seems. <laughs> uh, it's like everything here is just full of mysteries. Hmm. That's right, it's mysteries on top of mysteries. However, since these mysteries are overlapping with one another, I doubt some no-name group is behind this. What are you trying to say? So, in other words... I mean, the situation in, in, or in is undeniably the work of some enormous organization. <laughs> enormous organization. Hmm. Manomi, Manakuma, the Mono Beasts, they're all machines that require major major technical skill to operate. Are we screwed? Plus they need a ton of funding and there's no way those things were made just for the hell of it. In other words... That organization must be controlling these machines and monitoring the island with those cameras. Then... Could those fiends be hiding on this island? Not possible. Not likely. They're probably running this from somewhere else, somewhere safe. Oh? Where would where would that be? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, there's no mistake that an enormous organization is behind all of this. I see. A big organization, huh? I can't imagine what kind of people they could, they could be. In other words. Well, let's see. There's Mike Tagami Corporation, Sonia's Novoselic Kingdom, and uh, Kuzuryu Kuzu, Kuzu Clan. Kuzuryu Clan. Um, it, was, it would definitely have to be an organization as powerful as one of those groups, if not more so. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I'm used to being mistrusted. Do what you will. Hey! Hold on, I don't care about you or the Kuzuryu clan, and, but I won't allow you to doubt Miss Sonia. Miss Sonia is a hot blonde princess. There is there a sharp distinction between her and you punks. Yes, yes! Yeah, yeah, just shut up already, loser. Whoa! L loser? Are you talking about me? 
you. It's obvious from your flashy clothes that you that you just want to stand out because you're actually a loser. <laughs> <laughs> it must be hard to make you make your living in the, in the lame ass loser industry. <laughs> too far, dude. That's it. That's going way too far. Hey, Biakia, why are we, why are you why are you serious just now about this being related to your family and Sonya's and such? <laughs> I'm just using them as an example. I'm not saying they're they have anything to do with this. But you're certain that, that, that we're up against a huge organization, right? However... Even if such an organization exists, why would they make us go through something like this? Anyway... Whatever, how long, we are, how long are we going to keep talking about this? Why don't we talk about something more realistic? Our enemy's purpose is still unknown. As long as we, have, we, we find out who's behind this, will learn their purpose. So in other words... What we must do now is find out who our enemy is. If we do that, we'll be, much, we'll be that much closer to a breakthrough. Luckily, according to our e-handbook, we are free to explore this island. Yes, sir. There will definitely be a clue about the enemy on this island somewhere. Let's start looking. I'm gonna do it! Alright, let's get this crap done. <laughs> Uh, what are we looking for? Hey! Akane, were you even listening? We need to find clues that will tell us who it, who our enemy is. Fine. No problem, no matter how large this organization may be, they will not be able to stand against us. Go by four dark devas of destruction! They are destined to fall and turn to ash at the might of my four dark devas of destruction. Wow! Wow, hamsters came out of your scar- or came out of your scar. <laughs> Teehee, they're so adorable. What? Adorable, you say? Th thank you. <laughs> oh my my! You're pretty happy about that, huh? Huh? Look at that guy talking to Miss Sonya all casually. I'm definitely gonna beat the crap out of him later. I don't get it. In this tense situation, we are—we all need to be a lot more cautious, and yet I'm relieved everyone is in such high spirits. It's strange, but I feel like I can rely on them. And this must be what it means to have the confidence of an ultimate. Then, what am I? Am I confident enough to call myself one of them? Damn it, I still can't remember. What talent am I supposed to have? Listen. Anyway, let me just say this. There's no time to think about something as foolish as killing each other. We must... You must do what you have to do. Observe, speculate, reorganize, comprehend. Even if it seems impossible, just persevere. More importantly, follow my lead. I'll make sure to return you all to your normal lives. This is your leader's order. Understand? <laughs> <laughs> That's like, like totally awesome. <laughs> that right hand of his is so plump. I've got the perfect nickname for him. Ham hands. Ham hands? You say. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day when someone called me something like that. Huh? Why aren't you getting mad? Naturally. Why would I get mad at something as petty like as that? You really have changed quite a bit since the first game if you're not getting angry at minor things such as that. <laughs> Perhaps I've always yearned for this, though it may seem ironic for me to realize that in this particular situation. He's totally monologuing right now. Such silly talk. Don't worry about it, I was to talking to myself just now. I, I see. I don't really get it, but I guess this guy isn't some overconfident narcissistic jerk after all. Yeah, if you're saying that, then he definitely has changed, because he definitely was an overconfident narcissistic jerk in the first game. Despite our situation, he's mysteriously calm. He might just be a reliable person after all. All right! All right, we should listen to Biakia and not waste our energy thinking about pointless things. 
It's true that we're not in the best situation, but it's also not the worst. Great! Because we're not alone, we have friends we can count on to support each other. Gross! Seriously? That sounds so lame. <laughs> I knew it. I was just thinking to myself just how lame I sounded for saying that. Friends, huh? Until now, I never really thought about friendship. That sort of thing seemed embarrassing. I would have thought about it in this... I would have thought about it in this situation. No, actually, it's more like because of this situation. In the end, we never solved the mystery of the ominous countdown. But without losing heart, we all went back to the hotel. Believe in your friends, huh? It'll be di it'd, it'd be difficult to believe in them right away, but it'd be nice if it could happen a little at a time. Huh, if I'm starting to think like that, does that mean, uh, does that show I'm making good progress? Now then, there's no reason to hole up in my room and stare blankly into space. Since there's time, it'd be a great idea if I went ahead and talked to everyone. I know it's sudden, but it's time for a brief tutorial. During the school trip, there'll be moments called free time. During free time, strengthen your friendships by spending time with the other students. Also give them presents afterwards, you might make an even better impression. You can obtain presents from the Mono, mono, mono ya Yashin and the vending machine at the supermarket. After, when you strengthen the friendship, an intimate event is activated and added to the report card. Also, you show any hope fragments you've gathered to... Also, if you show any hope fragments you've gathered to Usami via the report card, you can gain new skills. Feel free to strengthen your friendships with as many people as you want. Also, when you spend time with someone, time will pass. You will return to your cottage afterwards. After passing the time several times, your free time will end, and you will continue on to the main story. By the way, you can skip free time by resting in your cottage bed. Although I don't really under, don't really recommend it, please use it it's if you want to just continue the main story right away. Free time. First free time of the series. Let's see, report card. My skills with hope fragments. I have 15. Slightly increased influence gauge, effective during class trial, can be combined with envious influence. Extraordinary focus. Slightly increases your focus gauge. Slightly increases the time limit for each phase. In increases influence gauge recovery when correct answers are chosen. Yes, I will definitely take that one. Slightly steady is your aim. I will also take that. Take that. Reduces your aim speed, effective during non-stop debate. And the improved hangman's gambit. Trigger happy. Decreases delay between firing truth bullets. Algorithm. Increases the speed of memorizing a statement. Focus gauge decreases at a slower rate. Okay. Delusion. Um, the influence gauge recovers over time. Nice. Increases damage to an opponent when a statement is destroyed. Panic t infective during the panic talk action. Excellent blade. Sharpness increases by two. Huh. Sharpness increases by five. 
increases max speed. Maneuver increases turning power. Moon salt increases jumping power. All right. Move here, yes. You are not the first person I want to spend time with. Oh, hey, what's up? No, not yet. I want to spend time with Biakia first. See if I can get him to see if see if I he gives any hints whatsoever of him remembering the previous game. Okay, I'm just starting to think there's no Monokuma dolls in, anywhere in this main part right here. Nope. All right. here and check out the uh, vending machine, shall we? Ah, found you. Huh? Nice. Are you serious? Mono Mall, huh? So wait, I can just buy things. No uh, randomness to it? Well, I have an idea who might like that. I also have an idea who might like that. Japan Jewelry. Blue Ram, Red Bull. Ramun, Mineral Water. I know who would want that. I know who'd want that. I don't know what an 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 is. Man's nut. Um, how about no? Alright. So. Let's see. You are definitely one of the people I want to spend time with. But not right now. I'm looking for Biakia now. Ah, so he's over there. Wait, can I teleport over there? Uh, 
There we go. What? What happened? Are you also searching for the enemy's clues? What should I do? Should I invite Byakuya to hang out? Of course. <laughs> Hmm, so you want to search together. Very well, but try not to slow me down. I spent time with Byakuya today searching for the enemy's clues. Looks like Byakuya let me get closer to him. Would you like to give Byakuya a present? Definitely. that appealing, but I guess I'll accept it from you. I'll be counting on it n next time as well. Hey, Hajime, let me ask you one thing. Huh? Me? I don't really mind, but there's something I've been wondering for a while, and I, I'd like to purge that question from my mind. Listen. Let me ask you, what is your body fat percentage? Huh? Well, I don't really know the exact number. I've never had it checked before. What? Never had it checked before. This can't be! Are you saying you have no intention of understanding the ratio of fat stored within you? <laughs> I swear, this is why I dislike the commoners. For some reason, Byakuya's mood seems abnormal. I'm starting to think I've actually done something wrong. I see. However, just by looking at you, I'd say you're a 9. No, maybe an 8. <laughs> Regardless, it's probably around one digit. <laughs> Be grateful this is a tropical island. If you were somewhere less hospitable, you'd freeze to death. I... I see. <laughs> anyway, you still can't remember what your talent is? I yeah, not yet. Don't worry. I see. However, there is no need for you to be depressed about it. Huh? Shh. What's with that face? Nothing. I just thought I was going to get yelled at. Hmm, how foolish. Do you really think I get mad about something like that? A person like me has a responsibility to watch over you weaklings. <laughs> Besides, as long as I'm here, it doesn't matter what your talent is. In the name of my family. As long as Byakuya Togomi is in charge... Togami is in charge, you will all know you no peace. I... I see. His personality is so overwhelming. <laughs> the Togami Corporation is famous worldwide, but it will grow even more rapidly under my command. You should feel lucky that someone as talented as me is here. Listen. Just believe in me. Just believe in me. If you do, everything will turn out fine. I I don't really understand, but he's extremely confident. So this is Byakuya Yoga Togami, the ultimate affluent progeny. Hmm. Just make sure you don't get in my way. A commoner should know their place and stay put. Goodbye. However, if there is anything troubling you, I don't mind if you rely on me. After saying that, Byakuya gallantly strode away. He was being pretty condescending, but he doesn't seem to be like a bad guy. I feel like I got to know a little bit about Byakuya. <laughs> Byakuya's report card has been updated based on your experience. Decided to return to my room for now. Still bright out. I've got some time left. If I, I don't feel, I don't feel like doing nothing. So maybe I should go somewhere. <laughs> and Biakia. But I have no. Bit. Okay, so I can't go into that. That does limit the places where the stalls can be. So. Though, this will be the end of this episode, so if you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving it a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more content in the future, and until next time, everybody, have a good one. I'll see you later. Bye!